Here we have the diagram of a Pi 03 Rust Python CLI project. So this is more of a realistic style of a project that someone would implement the heavy logic in Rust. So this could be the computationally complex things like you know, numerical operations or maybe some hardcore uh, data frame type operations or even using some MLOps capabilities, whatever it is you're doing that is go going to require the core features of Rust, which is extremely good performance, one of the best performing languages in the world. Now, if we look at the Rust code here, you have to build up the logic. And then when you expose the logic, you can see here that it's only a few lines of code to actually create a Python module. So this is the key component in your Rust code is you build a function. In this case, we have lib pycalc CLI. And then what we do is we return back this pi result right here. Now, in the case of each of these functions, it's pretty straightforward to understand what they're doing. We're building a calculator here. So you sum numbers, you add a string, you subtract a string, and you divide a string. So once these are all populated, what I like to do is create a make file to make things much easier. So I think many Python projects that are pure Python would benefit from a make file, but also the integration of both Rust and Python is, in my opinion, a no-brainer for a make file because it includes many of the complex things like copying a shared object file to a location, etc., that are annoying to have to type manually. So in this case, once we've got our Rust code set up, I would run the makefile command. So I'd say make build. This would then copy the artifact of the build from Rust, which is lib pycalc underscore cli.so. So once we have this SO, we're ready to go. All we have to do now is figure out how to integrate it into some Python code. Now, one of the better ways that I would recommend uh, integrating Rust code is Python Fire. Now, Python Fire is a library from Google that is very interesting because it takes the core nature of Python, so classes and functions, and lets you actually ingest those without having to write any boilerplate command line tool code. So in this case, we would actually uh, build out a class called calculator. One of the methods in the class would be divide, and I just call that Rust code uh, that I created earlier. In this case, divide as string, num1, num2, and then at the very bottom here, under this uh, section of the Python code, if under under name under under equals main, you would say fire dot fire calculator. At that point, I have access to every single one of these methods uh, in the Rust module. And then from the terminal here, look at this, I just say dot slash calc dot py add two and two dot slash calc py subtract five and two. So I think this formula is in my opinion probably the most effective way to get started with integrating Rust and Python is to let all of the heavy lifting be done by the part that Rust is good at, and then let the heavy lifting be done by the stuff that Python's good at, which is there's many of these really fancy libraries that allow you to write almost no code. And so by wrapping Python Fire with Rust, I think it's an amazing combination for Python projects, and I would recommend this workflow.